Welcome everybody. This will be an amazing hour and a half of uh, discussing about the igniting circle of fashion by collaboration. It's a very exciting opportunity we have to give voice at a United Nations high-level political uh, forum agenda around this theme that is so important and that goes through so many areas of our everyday life and many times we do not notice. I think that uh, fashion is uh, the industry of textiles and, and the fashion industry is a huge opportunity in order to make changes and collaborate for a systemic change in the way we consume, we produce and we relate with nature and with each other. And actually industry leaders as a part of this of this conversation and key actors for the industry, academia, NGOs, think tanks, governments, the business sector, manufacturers, uh, have come up with the list of priorities, including resource efficiency, decent working conditions, better wages, sustainable material mix, because this is what we want to hear about when we talk about circularity, Industry 4.0, because there definitely uh, technological advancement and innovative uh, technologies can play an important role, and this is what we are going also to discuss uh, today. Uh, transparency and traceability are a key priority. I mean, there is a number of reasons for that. First of all, the need to uh, enhance consumers' trust. There is a lot of evidence that consumers are willing to pay, you know, for more sustainable uh, products and products that are done uh, uh, more responsibly. And so I think there's there's an element here of, of how also can we, we talk about how traceability and transparency can support in these elements, but also how can we uh, build in and support the uh, provision of advanced manufacturing uh, processes and, and technologies that can support these, these companies in the middle of the supply chain. And I think when you start pulling that ecosystem of, of, of pieces together, that's when you'll start seeing some of this change that we're looking for. There's a lot of designers out there. There's a lot of educators out there. There's entrepreneurs out there. And they're looking to, uh, to leverage technology, looking to go the circular economy route. And they have all of these sorts of questions as to how to really go about it. What advantages that it bring, does it bring them? So before I again get into that, I just also want to make another point about uh, about HXN, and that's precisely about how HXN, as a collaborative network, has been working with more than 7,500 sustainable artisans across Patagonia, with strategic alliances that include universities, CNA, United Nations, ITC, UNESCO, World Economic Forum, and all of these good people who come together to work closely with Adriana, with HXN to help MSMEs, to help designers really take their businesses forward. So coming back now specifically, you know, to what's what's really the opportunity out here. I think the opportunity out here is frankly speaking, the ability to go to your customer right now, to use technology, to build your narrative, to use, to use blockchain, to really drive home the point that you are who you say you are. Uh, the truth is fashion is not just clothing. It's something much more emotional and it really engages us in a different way. It's part of representing who we are. It's a way of building culture for society. So it means that we are going to continue to create and use fashion in different ways to show who we are, what we are part of, and uh, what does it mean for the community that we are engaged with. And uh, with that in mind, education has shifted its focus on not just showing how to create garments, but also create designs that are purposeful. And we are also at a moment where designer and customer is getting closer to each other. Uh, through the use of technology, we are constantly trying to figure out how do we have a much more of a direct dialogue between the designer and the consumer itself which opens the door for us to really rethink the whole value chain. 